Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. He's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Lewis is showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Opening round scheduled for 10. That right hand over the top lands flush. Lewis is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Teddy, what do you want to see out of the shorter man in facing Lennox Lewis? Well, if I'm losers, people, I want to see him never get close. If I'm the shorter man, I want to see him right on the chest of Lewis. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. There's a right hand. Keep your head moving. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Nice combination. Landing more than one. Both were able to score. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Lennox Lewis. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Lennox Lewis is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Headshot lands was a hook. He's always done a good job of keeping his opponent off of him, yet setting up his own offense. I'm assuming we will see a lot of the jab out of him tonight. Yeah, well, assume that he's going to fight a fight like his opponent has B.O body odor <laughs> you know and he just wants to stay away from him, and he's going to use that jab as a fan well not a fan but nice. sort of a measuring yeah, stick a separation Keep stick left right left right you need to double you up go. your punches That's all enough. night Targeted two punch combo by Lewis. That hook was well off the mark. Able to land the 
hook to the head. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Stay on the outside. Lennox Lewis with a mighty left. Doubling up the jab by Lennox Lewis. Overhand right can be so effective. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Scores with the uppercut. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Good flush shot upstairs. That comes right back at him with a left hand. A little head hunting with the right. You need to keep that head. Scored well up top. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds. A round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can He's chomping at the bid. He's confident. Ah, there's the double jab, and you can see he can do it up top as well as down low. Lewis is banged around by a big uppercut. Locks that punch. Lennox Lewis is now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. And now they're trading blows. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Lewis. Get your hands up! Lewis is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Lennox Lewis. Very accurate with the overhand right. Well-placed jab by Lewis. Ten seconds to go in this round. Zones in on that overhand right. Take your time out there. Take your time. Keep the pressure up. Don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard, where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time. Clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Gets him with the right hand. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. 
There's that right hand he scores with. Halfway through round number four. Lewis's combination punching is working well here. Nowhere close that punch by Lewis. Well placed hook there. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Nice work, great technique, the combo lands. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Final 10 seconds. Unable to land clean by Lewis. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. There's a good right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. exchange was something special. Lewis's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down, you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. How about that exchange? Jab and a straight by Lewis. And round five comes to an end. Nice work. Lewis's failure defensively has caused his cornerman such angst. His opponent just keeps on landing these headshots. Well, something has to change. Otherwise, the corner has to stop the fight. So if I'm in the corner, I might tell my charge, hey, if you don't start changing things up here, moving your head, getting away from some of these shots, I'm stopping this fight. Let him understand that. And now you see him realizing why he's had success. He was aggressive at the end of the last round. He's coming out aggressive here in this round. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. He's staying with it. Up top with the right hand. Watch that punch. And a right hand lands flush. Nice combination there. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Halfway through round six, Lewis is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Able to land with the right. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. You're doing great. Right to the head with that right. Jump in. Jump in. 
Well hit. off nice. the mark by Lennox Lewis. Flush right hand to the head. is home with the uppercut. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Lewis. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Lennox Lewis is tagged by that powerful hook. And that's the end of round six. Listen, he's a veteran guy. He knows the truth of the situation. That's a really bad cut. The kind of cut that can end a fight. Yeah, he has a gamble right now. You know, just got a last call in the casino. They just said, you know, you got three more rolls of the dice. He's got to roll him. He's going to blow on him. He's got to do everything. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. Lennox Lewis is really showing us what he's made of. A good, sturdy chin. Lewis's legs appear to be underneath him now. Able to dismiss it. Comes with the right. You got this one. That is a strong uppercut there. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He got hit, but he sends it right back. At the halfway point of round seven. Well, he's committed to the left hand and paying off here. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. That right hand serving well. I got to stop and make this statement at this point in the fight. This may be, combined, one of the most amazing performances I have ever seen. How are they able to keep up this pace? Something way, way down inside, and it's beautiful to watch. You hear me? It's, it's too fucking close. We don't we want this it. to go to the judges' scorecards, right? Uh, you need to cover up more, okay? Believing yourself. Start of round number eight in what's been a highly entertaining fight. Lennox Lewis is in tough tonight. Teddy's scorecard has it even. Well, somebody forgot to tell his opponent that he was the underdog because he's acting like he's the favorite. He expects to win, and that's the way he's supposed to be. Nice work with the uppercut. Hey, keep your hands up. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Clean shot with the right. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Lewis. Well placed hook. You see him holding on. Good one too by Lennox Lewis. Lewis's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Good return fire that time. Each man able to land an uppercut. Focus, focus. And banging away he goes. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one.
question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. End of the round. So he scores the knockdown and now heads back to his corner. Teddy, do you ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. And you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You're going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool shed. And it's important to remember that. just grabbing on to his opponent. Lennox Lewis is putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Then he's having a field day, he's peppering him with shots from the outside. Well, when did we all of a sudden show up at a bull ring? Because I'm watching a Matador right now control that. Big, big shot he just scored with. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. This may be a worst-case scenario for Lennox Lewis. He rises up to beat the count, but you know that chin is a question mark. Well, you know he's good at delivering. Now he's got to show that he can survive. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Lennox Lewis. He's punching away, even though he's been stunned. <laughs> Lennox Lewis with a big right hand. And that's the end of round nine. One of his eyes is completely shut. They want this fight to continue on. They want to give themselves every chance they have to win it. What do they need to do? Well, what they need to do is be very calm in the corner, get pressure on that cut, get the right medicines in there, and maybe find a way to fool around in the corner somehow, dump some water, you know, in the corner, where the referee has to spend a little bit more time cleaning it up. They want to get a little bit more seconds. Lewis is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learns how to get... What a big shot. Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. over the fight is over lewis is in prime form power surge here knockout winner so here we are late in the fight just coasting along and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's going to happen. We're going to wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.